We have a consumer alert now. You may be driving a vehicle with a deadly defect and not even know it. This evening, federal regulators announced they're pushing Takata to expand its recall on faulty airbags to include the entire country. Rachel Scher has more from the newsroom. Rachel? Yeah, Morris, here's the problem. The airbags can deploy with such force they've spewed pieces of metal and plastic into the air, seriously injuring and even killing some passengers. Initially, the recall only covered states with hot and humid weather like Florida and the Gulf Coast. But a recent incident outside that region has the federal government now demanding this recall go nationwide. The airbags deployed and I had a massive strike on my right side and I just blinded out on that side. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration doesn't know exactly what's wrong with Takata's airbag inflators, but it's more widespread than previously thought. The chemistry involved, the design involved, and obviously the regions involved are all core parts of our investigation. The push for an expanded recall comes after an incident in North Carolina involving a 2007 Ford Mustang. According to a complaint filed by the driver, the airbags deployed thrusting metal fragments into the driver's leg. The NHTSA says the problem involves driver's side airbags in BMWs, Chryslers, Fords, General Motors, Hondas, Mazdas, Mitsubishis, Nissans, Subarus, and Toyotas. Most of the makes are 2008 or older. It's an airbag. It's supposed to protect me. But the federal agency charged with holding automakers accountable has been facing growing criticism by members of Congress, some wondering why there wasn't a broader recall in the first place. Our concern for public safety and human life has been at the forefront from the beginning of this. If Dakota doesn't agree to these new terms, it could face tens of millions of dollars in fines, a punishment that may be on the horizon. So Dakota's initial response yes. is an unwillingness to move forward. And frankly, that is one of the reasons why we're talking to all of you today. And speaking of that fine, President Obama has asked Congress to increase the maximum amount they can fine automakers from $35 million to $300 million, something Congress has yet to approve. Live in the newsroom, I'm Rachel Scher, News Channel 8. All right, thank you, Rachel.